but honestly, in H.P. Lovecraft's stuff, his actual writings, you didn't really often have someone who did solve it. So the terrible consequences usually just, you know, ensued. And people went crazy, or people, you know, all kinds of stuff happened. Alrighty. I'm almost done here. It's this way. Right? No. Almost there. Eh? I'll, I'll miss my tanning. Almost there. Next right. Oh, no, here's the house right here. Now we run up to the top. Explanation, Joseph. No. Uh, what did you want to know? I found the laboratory, Joseph. The one used to raise dead from the ashes and salt. So then you understand why I need Usha's body. She knows what we both need. The way inside Kotigan are. You revived the dead, then tortured them. That's an abomination. Do not rust to judgment, Reed. They had their time. It was not really a rush. To truly value one old life over the suffering of millions? They're not even human. Those specters, monstrosities. They are just the vessels of their former knowledge. You can't compare them to the living. You tormented Usha to get the knowledge you were after. Why? She refused to tell me what I needed. I was trying to find another way, but until the spell was found, I used more mundane methods. Like pouring acid on her? It was stubborn. No longer human. I was forced to try everything. Every time I recreated her, she told me I didn't deserve the knowledge. I know you had a deal with Raymond, the man who brought you the mummy. What happened to him? Nothing he didn't deserve. This newcomer, he was only interested in treasure. It's his fault who chose after us now. He's her toy now, possessed and tormented. But it was you who let this happen. Me? I did not free her. And for Kay's sake, why should I risk everything to save an imbecile? My mission is a fog greater importance. And that's why I'm going to shoot you. Usha made me a proposal. She's willing to help me get inside Katiganor. What? Surely not. It must be a trap. You didn't even ask me what she wanted in return. I fear I know already. She wants me dead. 
Dane, she's using you, Reed. She knows I'm the only one who can stop her. I have already prepared the Ungwent to prevent her resurrection. Ungwent? Please, can't we just finish this as planned? Now calm down, Joseph. I'm not fool enough to believe a blood-sucking monster. Just thought you ought to know. Oh, okay. Ooh, that's cold. Oh, you ready for this? Me for a moment. But if we're finished here, you should probably continue your search. Have patience, Joseph. It's not a simple task. True, true. But please hurry. The clock is ticking. Still salty. These Mayan artifacts could be the prize jewel in many a museum collection. Hello. You did well. She is pleased. Enter her home and she will tell you the secret of the death. Where will I find you? Didn't she tell you? About the stone fingers in the garden where the dead men live on? She thought you'd understand. Yeah, I did. I oh, just... Can't you be more specific? A garden for the dead? It... Is that a cemetery or crypt? See? You did have it. Okay, then. I'm on my way. Can't do anything for him yet. But again, the the nice thing to do for that guy is to end him so he doesn't have to deal with it anymore. And that's kind of the theme of the the Cthulhu stuff is knowledge is not always a great thing. Sometimes uh, you know, there there is such a thing as too much. Something that men ought not know, right? So, how do you stop the knowledge? Right, so, there's that. Press any button. And now off we go. To the graveyard. Five fingers. That's two. It's in here. I knew this was a diving section. Time for creepy shark things. This man. 
masterfully carved head seems like a real treasure. So, Raymond was not the only visitor. Trace of seaweed on it. Crap, here it comes. Came up with one really awesome design to use. Even if this is the only underwater enemy, it's still freaking great. It makes you go, oh crap, Cthulhu is super here, guys. I lost count about of how many. I've actually pumped into this sucker. It's like 10 now, I think. At least he's not attacking me. I can't figure it out. Dust and scratches. Come on. What? Why is it all dark now? Did it die? It did not. It's still chasing me. Leave me alone. Oh, look. It's a big old whale skeleton. A dark pit 
speaking with many voices. She never knew. Only a name. Kuchikonar. How do you know this? She asked the dead. The dead who came before. And they asked their dead like you ask her now. This is the cycle. Tell me how I can enter the temple. You must find the sacred seal. The key to the monoliths. You and it know each other. It will obey. You mean this one? Yes, yes, fate is coming. <laughs> now listen well. You have seen the great stone in the city center? This is the gate to Shivalba. How do I open the gate in the monolith? You must search for a hollow, craving to accept the seal. And that's it? No. <laughs> no. Seal. Not yet. You must gather three gay fingers growing on the three monoliths and unite them with the seal. So I've got to find pieces of three monoliths. Can you at least tell me where they are? She doesn't know. But every cycle, the fire servants gather near these special places. Find them. They will have the answer. That church that worships fire. How can I stop the madness that seeps from below? What waits for me down there? You will find out when it's it like a super badass her marked man boss fight. And the Katiganar slept. Follow his path. Do as he did. And did he return? No. No. You say there were others before me. Who were they? Marked men and women and things that went before. This place is old, but it still stands. Why do you call me marked? You bear the touch of old K. You see more. Feel more, and are even more inside. I just need to find the fire worshippers, then gather the three K fingers to complete the seal. I suppose it could be worse. She wishes you the wisdom to choose what must be chosen. But leave now. She must rest. Farewell. I don't know if it's possible, but I hope you can find some good in your new life. Oh, she will enjoy it. But must change before leaving this place. This is a little dark, but... <laughs> Lame. Taking pictures of the crazy. Look at this city. It's pretty cool. Look at this dead girl. I might have killed her. I kind of feel bad about it. But it was kind of required. A hollow craving the seal, huh? Is it under all the coral? It's supposed to be at the center of the room. So it should be that one. Why can't I do it? 
Or maybe at this one. She was worshipping at this one. Hey! Alright, I know what I need to do, so I think it's time to go. <laughs> Hooray, the sun. I fear there may be no coming back from what comes next. It's time to put all my affairs in order, finish all my side quests, because this is the last mission. Hmm. Is there any side quests that I especially want to do? Let's look. Bounty of the Sea. Field Research. And Herbert Glover. Eh. I don't really care about that one. Historical heritage, delicate matter, and field research. I think I want to do. Cool. So, we'll be doing that crap, and then we'll be preparing to fight a. We're gonna prepare to fight Cthulhu's daughter. So, I'll see y'all next time. Hey guys, I'm Alex, uh, you know, the guy from the videos. So, uh, I, I just wanted to thank you for watching the video all the way through. You know, it, it, it's a lot of work, I, I, I appreciate it. Um, so, you know, thank you for your, uh, your view, maybe your subscription. So, you can subscribe, right in the bottom corner there. Uh, then, you can, then you'll be updated. Make sure to ring that notification bell guys you know subscriptions seem to mean nothing on youtube anymore but hey uh so then over here you'll see a video that you might like since you watched this video all the way through uh other than that have a great day i hope that you watch more uh, i'd love to see you again we do stream so keep an eye out for that. Announcements will be on the channel, my Twitter, all that stuff. All the information is on the overlay. Other than that, enjoy. Enjoy your stay on 6th Street.